In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the crucial components that make up a semi-truck, highlighting their functions and importance in the overall operation of these massive vehicles. Whether you're a truck enthusiast or simply curious about the inner workings of these machines, you're in for an informative ride. Let's start with the engine. The engine is the heart of any semi-truck. These trucks are often powered by heavy-duty diesel engines designed for maximum torque and efficiency. Very simplified, diesel engines operate on the principle of internal combustion. Air is compressed in the cylinders, and diesel fuel is injected at a precise moment. The heat generated ignites the fuel, creating a controlled explosion that drives the piston downward turning the crankshaft and generating power. The engine's primary function is to convert fuel into mechanical energy, which is transmitted via the transmission to the wheels to propel the truck forward. Modern engines are equipped with advanced technologies, such as turbocharging and direct fuel injection, to optimize power output and fuel economy. Almost all heavy-duty truck engines are inline-six engines with 450 to 600 horsepower. Although it may not sound like much compared to a sports car, they provide considerably more torque. For example, the Cummins X15 performance with 565 horsepower delivers 2,050 pounds per foot, where most cars with 550 horsepower delivered around 470 pounds per foot. The reason all truck engines are inline-six engines is because they are the most fuel-efficient, can deliver the necessary power, and are cheap in maintenance costs compared to a V8. Trucks have a wide range of gear ratios to handle various situations, such as starting from a standstill, climbing steep inclines, cruising at high speeds, and even braking. Gears allow the engine to operate within its most efficient RPM range for each situation, optimizing power delivery and fuel efficiency. In a manual transmission, also known as a standard or stick shift transmission, the driver is responsible for manually selecting the gears using a gear shift lever and a clutch pedal. In an automatic transmission or automated manual transmission (AMT). The process of shifting gears is handled automatically by the transmission's hydraulic and electronic systems, and all the driver has to do is press the speeder. The number of gears in a semi-truck transmission can vary depending on the manufacturer, the application, and the engine. However, the most common number of gears for a semi-truck transmission is from 10 to 18 gears. Axles and Wheels Semi-trucks often feature multiple axles to distribute the weight of the load evenly. Axles support the weight of the truck in the cargo, while the wheels provide traction and maneuverability. Trucks can be put together in many different ways, and can be configured as a 4x2, 6x2, 6x4, also called tandem, 8x4, and many other configurations. Most semi-trucks in America are 6x4 with tandem traction, where both rear axles pull along due to weight rules. Where a 4x2 or 6x2 with either leading or trailing axle is the most used in Europe. The axles can also have different maximum loads, which can have an influence on the truck's permitted total weight. Also, the tires on the semi-trucks are of great importance, as they need to have the right load capacity, be fuel efficient, have some longevity, and ensure braking performance in varying weather conditions. Cab and Sleeper Berth The cab is the driver's workspace and living quarters. It houses the driver's seat, controls, and instrumentation. And some trucks might have more high-tech equipment than you think. New trucks are equipped with safety systems like adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency brake, and much more. 
The cab size of a truck can vary greatly, as some might not have the need to sleep in the truck where others might be on the road for days or even weeks. Many long-haul truckers are equipped with sleeper berths, providing a sleeping area, storage, and basic amenities for drivers during extended trips. This includes bunk beds, TV, refrigerator, microwaves, cabinetry, and lots of storage space, as well as climate systems to keep the cab warm in cold weather or refrigerate it if it gets too hot. In addition, trucks often have very comfortable air-suspended driver's seats, adjustable steering wheels, and a lot of buttons that can control some of the truck's many functions. Suspension System the suspension system of a semi-truck plays a crucial role in providing a smooth and controlled ride. Air suspension is commonly used in the rear axle to handle the heavy loads and provide adjustable ride height. The front suspension ensures stability and steering control. The suspension also helps minimize wear and tear on both the truck and the cargo. Some trucks have leaf springs on all axles. Some only have air on the rear axle and some have full air suspension, which is the most comfortable and allows you to adjust the entire height of the vehicle, which can be a great advantage for some types of work. The air pressure can be controlled from a remote control in the cab, so the driver can adjust the desired height. Frame and Chassis Frame and chassis form the structural backbone of the semi-truck. They support the weight of the engine, cabin, cargo, and other components. The frame is designed to handle the stresses of heavy loads and varying road conditions. The frame is made of high-strength steel beams that are welded or bolted together. It's designed to evenly distribute the load's weight across the axles and is carefully specified so that it matches the desired weight load, as well as the size of the cab. If the vehicle must drive with a very high load, some manufacturers can choose a reinforced frame or a double frame, which provides increased strength and load capacity. Braking System A semi-truck's braking system is a critical component responsible for safely slowing down and stopping the vehicle, which is especially important due to the large size and weight of these trucks. The braking system ensures not only the safety of the truck driver and cargo, but also the safety of other road users. Semi-trucks employ a specialized braking system known as air brakes, which is different from the hydraulic brakes commonly found in smaller vehicles. The air brake system, which relies on compressed air to control and apply the brakes, this system offers several advantages, including increased reliability, improved braking performance for heavy loads, and reduced risk of brake fade during prolonged use. A semi-truck's braking system is pivotal for ensuring safety and control on the road. It influences advanced safety systems like ABS, ESC, collision mitigation, and more. These systems rely on proper brake function to prevent skidding, maintain stability, and respond to potential collisions. Exhaust System Diesel engines produce exhaust gases that need to be efficiently managed. The exhaust system includes components such as the exhaust manifold, diesel particulate filter DPF, and selective catalytic reduction SCR system to reduce emissions and ensure compliance with environmental regulations. As emission standards become more stringent, the exhaust system's design and components have evolved to reduce harmful pollutants and minimize the trucking industry's impact on air quality. Over time, the exhaust system of semi-trucks has undergone transformational changes in response to environmental regulations and technological advancements. These were some of the most essential components of a semi-truck, from the powerhouse engine that drives these massive vehicles to the safety-conscious braking system that ensures control on the road. Each component serves a vital role in the truck's functionality. We hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for much more.